Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Bria. I am a mom of four and today we are doing something crazy. We are removing my popcorn ceiling and I am doing it all by myself, which I'm super excited about. So to start out, I am just removing everything from the room to make sure that it is nice and clear and won't get dust all over everything. Next up, I'm going to fill this bottle that I received with my oven. It is a continuous spray bottle. Um, if you're going to purchase a bottle, I would recommend the one that they use for um, like gardening with the long stick because this one I had to really get up high um, to make sure that the water was um, touching the ceiling. It didn't spray as far, but it did do the job really well. I just added a drop of Dawn soap and some hot, hot water. And that is the mixture I use to saturate all of the ceiling. So I wanted to start out doing a test patch here in this little nook um, by the bay window. And then I realized that I needed to remove this curtain rod um, track that has been in this house my entire life. Um, for those of you that don't know, this was my parents' house and the house I grew up in. And now we are flipping it. Um, but let me tell you, this little curtain rod was a pain in the butt to take down. Thankfully, I finally got it down, but I had to use a gun and some regular screwdrivers and stuff. I eventually ended up just ripping it out of the wall, but um, we got the job done. So this is the little area where I'm going to start my test run to make sure that I'm able to even do the job. All right, so this is the process that I'm going to be using throughout the entire job. Um, you just wanna get as close as you can and really saturate the ceiling um, with your water mixture. Um, you wanna go over it several times. Um, I originally read that you saturate it and then you wait five minutes and then you saturate it again and you um, scrape it. That method didn't really work for me. Um, what worked best for me was just to really, really saturate it and then kind of wait like maybe a minute or so and then just start scraping. You want to make sure that it's wet when you're scraping it. Um, I don't know. I Like I said, I think it might have been the sprayer too. If I would have had one that was like really drenching the ceiling, maybe that would have been better. But this worked out. So after I did that, I got this little... Um, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it scrapes uh, for like drywall and stuff. I ended up finding mine at Walmart, but you can definitely get them at Home Depot. Uh, you're just going to look like in the drywall area. And I tape this to um, my broomstick and that is what I'm going to be scraping all the ceilings with. And it works really, really, really well. Definitely worth the price. I think this one was only like 12 bucks or something, but it's definitely worth it. Um, that's going to be your best bet. And this is my bandana that I didn't end up wearing the rest of the video, but yeah, you definitely want to cover your face, wear a mask because it's going to be dusty. And now it's time for the good stuff. So I just went ahead and did my first scrape and you can see, well, it kind of got stuck right there. And this is when I realized that it needed to be really wet um, in order to come off. Um, some parts were easier than others, but if you do have issues where it's not scraping off, I would just recommend respraying it. That's probably what the issue is. Um, other than that, you can see like it just comes right off. Easy peasy. I would say the hardest part about the whole job is the cleanup. It's not actually removing the popcorn ceiling because you can see that it comes off really easily. It's just the aftermath of it coming off. That is why throughout this video and even right now, I recommend cleaning as you go. That is gonna be your best bet to keep the mess under control. So I decided that I was going to clean section by section so every time i would finish a small area i would go ahead and vacuum it all up um, i do mention and as you can see this is not the best shop vac for the job um, i would highly recommend a really like heavy duty industrial one that's really going to get the job done but i made it work i made it happen because our big one that's in the shop isn't working right now but like i said you want to scrape clean scrape clean throughout the entire thing it's just going to make your life so much easier moving on to the big walls um so as you can see i am spraying as i go um 
that was going to be the easiest way for me and then vacuum up like I said and then you're going to see that I actually empty out my vacuum as well right away I'm not going to let it really pile up in there and I learned that um, I think I speak about that later on too is that it was blowing out more dust if I wasn't like staying on top of the cleaning it out process so it's a whole deal guys you gotta really stay on top of everything here's a closer look of how easily it just comes right off the ceiling stuff off and all that when I get to this area I will just close all of these bedroom doors and maybe even put towels on the bottoms so that the dust doesn't go into the kids bedrooms and then to remove the kids bedrooms I will just do probably one room at a time as I update their rooms it's going to be a process but I just kind of wanted to update you guys I'm going to like I said clean out my shop back real good that would be my number one recommendation is to make sure you're constantly cleaning out your shop back this is so far all the stuff that's come off the ceiling it's insane i have to dump out another load and then i'll probably be done with that bag because it's about to rip uh but let me get the shop shop back cleaned and then we will continue on keep pushing through keep pushing through let's get this done I got this entire room done, so to kind of keep the mess to a minimum, I already shot back the whole floor and I'm gonna mop it. I had my, uh, sorry, I had my mop bucket ready to go, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the walls. You can see where I started here, and it it's just like, I figure if this dust is gonna be here, I'm not gonna mop my floor until I knock down all this dust. Do you see all that? So. That's what I'm going to do right now. to really 
clean everything. I know, like, I just noticed on top of the light fixture, there's still some okay. of the dust stuff that I'll have to get down. I'll have to sweep and vacuum probably about 25 times. But I, I'm comfortable with the way this is going, the pace it's going. I've only been at it for like an hour or two, and uh, I mean, I'm doing pretty good. As long as you keep the mess under control, I feel like you feel more under control. Okay guys, quick update on my popcorn ceiling. I am taking an iced coffee break. I haven't really had any caffeine today, which is insane because I'm almost done with my project. Did I say it was 3.30? I don't know if I said it was 3.30, but it is 3.30. I think I started around 11, maybe 10.30. So not too bad. I've been taking a lot of breaks. I took a break to eat. I've been watching movies. It really hasn't been too bad. I've also been watching Christmas movies to kind of keep me in good spirits. I watched Elf and now I'm watching Home Alone. Let me show you guys. So it's a mess again. Um, see the floors, but I'm still cleaning as I go. I think it would be a lot better. This is shop back brand, but I think if I had like James's DeWalt shop back or some sort of heavy duty shop back, it would work way better. Um, but this one's just a small little shop back. I mean, it's getting the job done, but I'm having to empty it out. Look, this is two bags full of my ceiling, of the popcorn ceiling. Isn't that insane? It's like sand, look. So, I have, of course, all of this side done, which is the side I filmed. And then I have most of this side done, except for that one little patch right there. So I just have this one area that I need to finish. And then I am gonna go ahead and do this hallway. Oh, you guys, I just ran into this ladder. Um, I am gonna do this hallway. I would like to take this light fixture down. I don't think I mean, I guess if I cut the power, I could take it down myself, but I would prefer James to take it down. So, I think I'm still gonna do it around the light fixture and then just wait for James to take it down. Hold on, I'm trying to hold my coffee. Not really like um, goofy track lighting, like a more modern track lighting at Ikea. And it was only like $24. Even it's smaller, which is fine because it's just a hallway light. Um, I think I might do something like that because eventually I am going to have a gallery wall here. And because it's more modern looking, I think it would be okay. So if he gets home in the next little while, I'll have him take that down for me. If not, I'll just do it around. And then of course I'll re-clean my floors, wipe down the walls again. I did wipe down this side, but they, some of it like stay, stayed on there. Like it needs to be wiped again and again. And then I will be done with my project. So let's finish up this last round and we will be done. I will update you guys when I'm done. I haven't been filming because, well, I can film. Uh oh, I left that cabinet open. But uh, see my internet's down? Out here in the country, we use our phones internet so I think I'll just finish and show you guys once I'm done you guys saw the time lapse of how it's done you just want to soak the area <gasps> have I been talking this whole time with food on my lip uh. of dad, dad's here. oh dad's here okay no. so James just pulled up hey, let me get this going so that he can't be like maybe he'll like it'll motivate him to do the light I'm so well, I think I was talking this way this whole time. If I wasn't embarrassing, I had food on my mouth. I may cut it, I may not, but let me finish this little area right there. Okay, I definitely need to remove this light fixture. It was really hard to get around it. Um, James still hasn't come in, so. I'm gonna see if he can remove it when he does come in. 
I'm tired. That one wore me out. This little section was harder than all the rooms because it was so compact. So like my shoulders hurt from trying to get into all the little nooks and crannies. So now I'm gonna vacuum all that up. and there's still like a white overcast on the floors. So I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a day here because I need to make dinner. Um, but tomorrow I'm gonna come back in and I'm going to dust light fixtures, dust or scrub down the walls. Um, yeah, dust all the lighting, this light fixture as well. Dust the door down really well, scrub the floors again um check the baseboards all that stuff and then i will move the couch back and probably dust in the living room let's see if it came this way let's see uh yeah <laughs> and it's white so yeah it definitely came into the living room so i will dust that as well is my kitchen table full of dust let me see if it's just dirty or dusty. Mm, it's a little bit dusty, but I think it just needs, oh, of course I'll wipe it down before we eat. Um, but yeah, I am exhausted. I'm gonna take a really quick shower and then I'm gonna make dinner. I wasn't going to make dinner, but I'm just gonna do some club sandwiches, easy peasy and call it a day I, I am exhausted so i will do the rest of the cleaning tomorrow so that's gonna be it from me today i'll see you guys tomorrow hey friends i am wrapping up day two of removing my popcorn ceiling all of my ceilings are done i have wiped down all of my walls and mopped my floors back to normal um i did use Tide, powdered Tide with hot water to wipe down all of my walls, windows, lights. <clears throat> Look how shiny these are. These are probably shinier than <laughs> when I started. Um, so all in all, the project lasted, as you guys saw, a day. And then the next day, I just spent the day cleaning. And it's only, let's see, what time is it? It's 2.43, I would say it took me about two, two and a half hours to clean everything because I was uh, doing stuff in the kitchen as well. If you are thinking about, let me find the lighting. <laughs> if you're thinking about doing this project, it can be done. It is messy, so you have to be prepared mentally to clean up as you go, clean up after. I still need to clean out the, the shop vac clean out my regular vacuum and clean out, um, clean off or dust off some tools that I use. Right now I am gonna move the couch back and all that stuff, but the popcorn ceiling is done. The last thing I need to do is paint it, but I think what I'm gonna do is have, we're having the rest of this paneling installed. So I'm gonna have it all installed, this patched up, this patched up right here, this way right here and then I will paint all of the wait will I paint the paneling first or will I paint the ceiling first the ceiling because the ceiling is going to be white and the paneling is going to be another color of white but not actual white so what I will do is I will paint the ceiling I will paint the ceiling first and then I will paint the paneling and I will update you guys on my channel how that all goes Thank you guys for following along on this crazy adventure. <laughs>
that is removing the popcorn ceiling. If you have any questions, anything at all, please leave them in the comments below. I am more than happy to help you with anything. I am not a professional, but just what I did. Also, 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 I highly, highly recommend a mask. I do realize that in my videos, I am not wearing a mask. You will see at the beginning, I went to put on a bandana and then I got sidetracked. I think what happened was I got excited knowing my popcorn ceiling was finally gonna come down. I just went to it. And then by the time I realized it, I was already more than halfway done, but I would recommend covering your face some way so you're not breathing in any of that stuff. Um, I'm okay, I'm sorry if anybody's upset that I wasn't wearing a mask, but I'm okay. <laughs> But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys next time.